Hollywood has lost a true legend. James Garner, star of TV and the big screen, has died. But he leaves behind decades of work for the world to keep enjoying. Come on, boy. He was a tough guy. You aren't worried about me, are you, Carrie? But also a charmer. James Garner first rose to fame on Maverick. He played a wandering gambler in the offbeat Western for six seasons. At that time, there were like 16 Westerns on uh, television, and uh, we stuck our tongue in our cheeks and uh, made him laugh a little bit and smile, and I think that was the difference. But even bigger success was yet to come. A decade later, Garner landed the title character in The Rockford Files. Aren't the police on it? The show earned him an Emmy in 1977. Quite an accomplishment for a man who said he was really rather shy. When he appeared on the CBS early show back in 2002, Garner explained it took decades to realize he'd made it as an actor. I was about 50 years old by that time. <laughs> uh, what I did, and I've told this before, I, I gave myself five years to see if I could make a living as an actor. Then after five years, I reevaluated, said I could go another five years, uh -huh. I think, doing this. Garner was also one of the first big stars to transition between TV and movies. Victor Victoria and Murphy's Romance, which earned him an Oscar nomination for Best Actor. I'm not a lifeguard. I don't put up fail, and I'm not your damn Dutch uncle. In 1994, his career came full circle when he played Brett Maverick Sr. on the big screen opposite Mel Gibson and Jodie Foster. I'm going to be taking this coach. So, so am I. Garner continued working, including a role in The Notebook in 2004. He said acting was his true love. This is the best job in the world, being an actor. Garner earned two Purple Hearts serving in the Army in the Korean War. He was 86 years old.